Warriors, Sword Prepper here. Are you ready to endure the chaos? And are you reading the warning signs? Yes, the warning signs. They are out there. They are everywhere. They are screaming in our faces. And they are saying, hey look, something bad is about to happen. If you can see me, you better start preparing. I see the warning signs all over the place and I'm sure most of you do as well. How ready are you to endure? And are you heeding those warning signs? There's a um there's an old saying that goes those that don't know their history doomed to repeat it. If you don't know your history, if you don't know what led up to this moment in time. If you don't know how America was built, the wars we've gone through, the terrible things we've seen, the terrible things we've done as a nation, and why we are in this moment in history. If you don't know those things, if you don't know the basic, the basic ways of why who Hitler was and why he was defeated, and just the things that, that make history, history. If you don't know those key points, then you're doomed to repeat it. I talk about this every now and then. I talk about my generation. And how my generation is so lost. There's tons of wildlife out today. How my generation is so lost. We're so... We're so... We don't have any knowledge. No. We, we don't have any knowledge and... We definitely don't have any wisdom. We're lacking in all important areas. We have no skills, no wisdom, no knowledge, no importance. We don't place any importance on anything unless it's Facebook or something like that. We have no sort of drive to do anything unless it's what the government says. We don't know the first thing about cooking. We don't know the first thing about gardening. We don't know the first thing about taking care of things. We have no sense of responsibility the list goes on and on and on. I'm not speaking from a place of, of con condemning anyone. I'm speaking of a, in a place because I've seen it. I'm part of the generation I'm speaking of. I've seen it firsthand and I know what I'm talking about. So that encompasses millions of people. Millions and millions of people. So when things go down, when things head south, when the inevitable happens, ah, uh, millions and millions and millions of people are going to die. It's like when you've been at something for so long that you just know the outcome. You've been you've been doing a job so long. Um, you just you, you kind of get the knack for it. You kind of get the the gist of what's what's going on. So you can kind of tell what's going to happen. You can kind of tell what's what's going on, and you don't really need to look at what you're doing per se to do it. That's what this is because we've seen history. We've seen history repeat itself so many times. We've, we've seen all these sort of things happen so many times that we've reached a point where if something doesn't happen, that'll be new. That'll be the, the point of amazement. I don't think any of us warriors, I don't think any of us are going to be amazed or shocked by what's going to happen, by what's, go well, what's going on and what's going to happen. The point of amazement will be if nothing happens because there's a stronger if for nothing happening than there is for something happening the if is stronger for if there's nothing happening i don't know if you can see but there's some deer right up there yeah there they are right wait anyway so there's no version of this where we come out in the in the green. There's no version of this where we come out uh, with with uh, smelling like a rose. So we're gonna have to decide to make the best of it. And are you ready for that? It's gonna be hard, warriors. I want you to understand something. And I don't know if I can say if I can put enough emphasis on it as I say it. But there's gonna be there's gonna be a time when the decision to go on is enough to to make you give up the the thought of the day the next day the thought of having to deal with the next day is going to be enough to make you give up 
it's going to be enough to make you decide, you know what, I've had enough of this. Uh, there's there's not much going on. There's I don't have enough. There's nothing driving me to carry on. So um, I'm going to give up. I'm going to give in. Are you ready to endure? That's the question. Can you endure? Can you be... Can you be... Can you be worthy of the title warrior? Are you worthy of the title warrior? There's something I want you to understand about being a warrior. Warriors don't just go out to fight. Warriors aren't just the guys you see in the battlefield. They're not just the person that, that does all the dirty work. That goes out and sheds blood. That's not what being a warrior is. It's all a part of it, but it's not what being a warrior is. Warriors have to... Um, they have to understand that... They have to understand and know when to take a life. They have to know when is, when, when is appropriate to shed blood. They have their families at home that are counting on them. They have their families waiting and counting on them to come home and with victory. Because if you don't bring victory, then that means the other party has. That means the, uh, the opposite team has. And you failed your family. You've let them down. And now they're probably going to be taken captive and abused. That's what being a warrior is. Having all that weight on your shoulder, having all that, that, that terrible weight on your shoulder and still carrying on. Still going on, still deciding, now is the time to do this. I've got all this weight on my shoulders. I've got so much to bear, so much is counting on me. But I'm going to do this anyway. People are counting on me and I'm going to make sure that they're, that they're looked after. The time is coming where that's going to be a daily occurrence. The time is coming where that's going to be a daily choice, warriors. The choice to carry on is going to be a daily, daily decision. It's going to be... You have you ever have those days when you wake up and you've got... There's something heavy on your mind. Maybe you're thinking about making a big purchase. Or you're thinking about whether or not you should drive somewhere that's a few hundred miles away or not. You're thinking about that. And the, the, the stress of the situation or whatever is uh it's a it's a thought you have to dwell on it's something you have to think about the time is coming where those thoughts are going to be an everyday occurrence those thoughts are going to be something you think about every single day and it's going to be something it's going to be a thought that's much bigger than whether you should spend some money or whether you should drive a few hundred miles or whether you should pay your bill today or tomorrow it's going to be decisions that are much greater than that much heavier than that much more real than that because warriors we live in a world where money cars that's reality ah uh, your grandma dies oh man i loved my grandma that was great she was she was a great person but you know what i've still got my car i've still got my this i still got my that and that's what real world is we don't view life as reality we view we view things as reality that's the world we live in. But that world is going to disappear for you and I and us warriors. That world is going to swiftly change and we're going to be living in a world where every every grain of corn, every rice, every grain of rice, that's what counts and that's what life is. Warriors, stay out of the heat. I'll see you in the line of battle.